Do you ever think about how long you'll live or how long you want to live? How about 106? That's how old a Sparta woman is, and she isn't missing a beat. Lola Morrison was born in 1914. That makes her 106 years old. She doesn't look her age. And she certainly doesn't act it. Lola never smoked and never, ever tried alcohol. She's in great health, but that wasn't always the case. Oh, I've had every disease there was when I was a kid. Measles, whooping cough, scarlet fever, small boss. When she was 12, her father died in an accident. They were so poor that she needed to start working. So she did that every day after she finished her farm chores. I used an old washing machine that was like this. We'd get, got it at a rummage sale for $2. Seven, there were four boys and three girls. Lola grew up during the Depression, and some things, to this day, still haunt her about that. They had to kill their great big dog and cook it for the kids to take it to school, and they'd sit there and they'd cry because they were eating their dog, nice big dog, and I remember that, and I lived next door to them. Lola spent most of her adult life working at Fort McCoy, 40 years to be exact. She loved it. I was working for the Army from 41. Here's, here's one of the pictures. Uh, what were you doing in this picture? I was mixing up stuff for the Army for, to eat. She never married and never had kids, but she sure did raise them. Five of her brother's kids and a few from other siblings. Bonnie Hull is one of them. My mother had to be wheeled out to the car in a wheelchair. She was too weak to hold me even. I was too big. And so my dad took care of my mother and Aunt Lola took care of me. Bonnie is 86. She's the reason Lola moved to Meadows Assisted Living in Sparta. The other reason is because it's not a nursing home. Linda Fabry says that was very important to Lola, who inspires her every single day. She uses laughter throughout life. She doesn't let things um, that were maybe not the best things in her life set her back. Um, she perseveres. Um, she's a very independent person. Um, she doesn't like it when she has to ask for help. This has got a very good tune. Lola might be the oldest person living at the Meadows, but she certainly is the youngest in spirit. If you walk the halls here, you can hear her doing what she loves most playing music. What instruments do you play? Well, I played mandolin and banjo and the ukulele and the accordion. I had two accordions and now I've got this Yamaha. Oh, that's my dad. Her second favorite pastime oh, hi, honey. Hi there. Hi. is spending time with animals. <laughs> Some days she gets to do both, and that's what she calls the perfect day. Genetics might play a small factor in why Lola is living her best life at 106, but those that love her say it's much more. Oh, Aunt Lola was always there. She was always there and always ready for a good joke. And living the advice she so often gives. Never let anything get you down. Just never. I hope I can age like her. <laughs> um, she's very mobile um, and her mind is still here, which is something that I think most of us would like at the end of our life. So maybe we all have something to learn from Lola Morrison. Stay tough, work hard, and fill your life with friends, even the furry kind, and music, lots of music. I do hope that dog is for Lola looks forward to another day every day. She never complains, and she says for those aches and pains, just keep moving. Our thanks to photographer Travis Udell, who filmed and edited this story.